morning. Let's go. Let's go. What's, What's up, up Gaza? I'm Emma. I'm Steven. And I'm Ashley. And this is GTV News You Can Use. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's go to the Staff Spotlight member of the week. How long have you been teaching at Gotha? Um, I have been teaching at Gotha for, wow. this is my ninth year. Awesome, and what do you teach? I teach, this year I'm teaching geometry and algebra, but I've taught seventh grade math and pre-algebra in the past. Okay, and what do you think is the greatest thing about being a teacher at Gotha? Um, I really love the energy that the kids bring to school. They have lots of creative ideas and they're lots of fun. The teachers are also really cool and lots of fun. And um, over the years, we've been able to do some awesome music videos. I'm so glad that we're back to that this year. It's lots of positive energy. It's a fun place to come to work every day. So some students feel like math can be very difficult, but what, what can you tell them about how important math is for their future? Well, um, so what I tell my students is that they may not use all of the exact math problems that we do, but they will be using their brain and their thinking skills the same way that, you know, they go to the gym and lift weights or something. They're not always going to be lifting weights in real life, but they're going to be exercising and they're going to be doing other things. So it's kind of like exercises for your brain to be a better thinker and uh, to be more responsible in your life, to be a better citizen, even make good decisions and be more... Um, savvy economically. <laughs> There's lots of good qualities if you know your math. You are really good at this. Um, okay, so the final question is when you are not teaching these lovely children, <laughs> when you are not teaching them, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I like to do a lot of different things. I, I've taken a lot of dance classes. Um, I like to do art, I go to concerts, and during the summer I like to travel. Last summer I went to Spain, and I'm planning a trip to Scotland for next summer. Amazing. And do we have any students in here that would like to tell us how amazing you are? <laughs> have you learned a lot in math this year? Yeah. Okay, anybody so else? What is teacher? She <laughs> gives us treats. Yeah. Miss Ike, thank you so much, and have a great day. Have you bought your yearbook yet? If not, here's some information on how to fill out the yearbook form. Hey Zoe, so I really want to get a yearbook, but I don't know how. Okay, let's go this way, I can show you. Okay. You go to Miss Miller's room, right here, um, and then you go to her desk. Alright, maybe you guys. And there are forms everywhere. Okay, um, and a name. Okay. And then your parents' email. Okay. And then your um, contact phone or whatever. Wait, what's our homework? Um, Miss Miller said it was your first period. Okay. And then your ID number. And then your grade, obviously. So you're going to want to choose from basic or signature, whatever you want. I'll just choose basic. Okay. And if you choose basic, um, then you have the monogram to choose from. If you want to personalize your yearbook, then you can put your name there and obviously a monogram. And if you want to do an icon, choose whatever. For instance, you say track. Then the number says 5009, so you put it in icon one. And that's $3. So, yeah, that's, that's $3. So then you're going to add it all out, which is your total, and you're going to do $30. Then put um, six. six for personalization, and then one icon, three. Then total, put 39 at the bottom. And now you're going to get a yearbook, so there you go.